we're gonna be making sunken pirate ships. We're gonna be using large paper for large this. Large paper. So if you only have copy machine paper or small paper, you're gonna to wanna to take two pieces of it and tape it together on the back. Now, I'm gonna recommend orienting your paper this way for today's project. So this is called portrait orientation. Portrait orientation. All right, so I'm gonna recommend that you start at the bottom of your paper like this and put your hand at the bottom of your paper like that. And then this is gonna be where you start a triangle. Triangle, triangle with the large bottom end like that, long triangle that's gonna become the shape of your ship, okay? You want this space underneath so you can add different things to your picture. Once you have this simple triangle shape here, you can go back and refine the shape of your ship. So I've got a hole right here at the top and a slightly foreshortened shape for my ship. Like that and Okay, so this is the basic shape of my ship right here. Next, if you wanna add some windows Window, Window. or details to your ship, maybe little lines going down. And this is foreshortened, so if you have lines up here, they're gonna slowly get closer together as you move towards the back of your ship. The next thing I'm gonna suggest drawing is the mast. You're gonna draw a straight line up the top coming up from your ship, you're gonna draw another four mast right here. So once you have that shape, you can draw the kind of ragged sails. Ragged sails. And a little sail at the top. So I thought it'd be fun to make it look like a sea creature was swallowing my ship. So I've got these long, large tentacles I'm drawing up, coming up around my ship like this. So now that I have my basic ship drawn, I'm gonna add some really fun details around my picture. So one detail that's, that's great to have for a pirate ship is a sunken treasure. I do this by doing a box-like shape and then a slightly open lid. I can do little ovals inside, are gonna be pieces of gold inside my treasure chest. A keyhole there, and then my treasure chest has a hole in it, so there's actually gold, just a pile of it pouring out and outlining it, and then I'm gonna do little circles inside of it. Really basic skull is gonna be like a circle shape, kind of a circle shape, and then it gets a little narrower at the bottom where the teeth would be. I'm gonna do a little open, like an upside down heart for the nose, and then two circles for eye sockets. A big rock that's got a starfish on it. Now behind my treasure chest, if you, I'm gonna show you a method for drawing seaweed. If you just do one straight wavy line like that, you can do a bubble, bubble letter line, and then around it, you can do wavy lines, and that's, that's this, Seaweed, that's one way of doing seaweed. The sides of my picture. So I'm gonna do this very jagged, very jagged rock. Lots of rough edges here. Um, is this is called a sea anemone. And another type of coral is uh, long protrusions like sticks, st sticking up and out. That, I can do that again on this side. This is like tubular shaped coral. 
Another thing that's kind of fun is ropes on your ship. I'm gonna do a little cluster of sand dollars down here. These are called sea anemones. I'm gonna start with a little circle and then do a bigger circle. And then I'm gonna do wavy lines like this all around it. Okay. For a fish, I recommend starting with a round circle and then creating a little beak protruding. And then a little um, sticking out the end for the tail and then fanning out like that. And then for the fins, you can have one coming up across the top and then another one on the bottom. Do an eye and you can make little lines. That's another type of coral, just a circle with a bunch of little circles in, inside of it. And your picture is looking like we're, we're looking up at the surface of the water. So if you do sun rays coming down fanning across your page like that. It really creates a neat, a neat look. Now I strongly suggest trying to draw at least a couple hammerhead sharks in your picture. So it looks really neat. It looks like you're looking up at them and they're kind of ominously hovering over. So do that by doing a line, a line like this, kind of like a long, elongated oval, and then a hammer shape across the head like that, then like a triangle and then a little bit of a tail at the end. Make sure there's a clear line going across the bottom of your picture that indicates where the ocean floor ends and the water begins. Anything that's meant to be white in your picture, you could use a white colored pencil or a white and tan crayon. So I've got a white crayon and a really light tan color crayon. I'm gonna color in my sails. And then I've got the boat. I would color in the boat just maybe different shades of brown. It's like a dark color. My skull's white so that they'll stay white when I do a watercolor. to look like light is pouring down through the water. The sun is out, so we're adding bits of white and yellow crayon. We're ready to paint our background, so we're gonna take some of this really light blue here and add it to the lid and then water it down. Then we're gonna start painting our background. The bluish black color in our lid, and we're adding that at the bottom. We've watered it down a lot because we don't want it to because then you can't see the objects around it. It just obscures the details of the picture. If it's too dark, that's why you have to add a little water to it. We did a variety of colors in our background. We watered them down in our watercolor tray. For the, near the bottom of the seafloor, I used a blue with a little bit of black mixed into it, and then I watered it down. For our seafloor, we're doing bits of orange and brown.